Yo, what's up guys? Welcome back to my channel. Uh, my name is Keem and I want to show you guys a quick little how-to on how you can essentially expand your seamless backdrop uh, when you're whenever you're using like savage paper backdrops or anything and anything, anything that has a like a continuous pattern or like a maybe maybe not a pattern but i've noticed this that, that it works with the backdrops that i have that i've gotten from like bnc camera or bnh um that are just the one color backdrops um you can actually extend them if you wanted to go ahead and take your like if you liked an image that you took and you wanted to make the crop a little bit different but you didn't really have that much room to play with um so yeah this is a cool little tip a tip right here so what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and go to the crop tool um, as you can see, this little box comes around the image that shows you, you can move it around and crop it however you want. However, we're not going to do that. Over here on the top left um, part, you can see these little arrows that go back and forth. You can switch back and forth between portrait and landscape. And what I, what I, what I actually want to do is I want to crop this into a landscape, um, but I want to I want to retain everything that I have in my image, like all the detail in the jacket, the hair, the shoulder, everything that's in that is part of the of the model. I want to keep in the image. So without cropping any of it out, what I'm going to do is I'm going to hit shift and I'm going to expand. Well, actually, you know, hold on, command Z to undo that. I think if you hold down shift and option, you should be able to crop it in perfectly from both sides. Um, and then once you see it snap to the grid, right there you know you've got everything in frame so what we're going to do is go, we're going to go ahead and hit return um and that'll essentially create the new image now don't freak out because you have the black bars on the side on the left and the right what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and um let's go ahead to our marquee tool over here on the, on the left side we're going to highlight a part of the image that we want to essentially repeat which is this kind of color whatever grayish blackish kind of but you we want to be careful not to go over the arm or the jacket and not go over the black so we want to sample essentially that much that seems like a good amount uh and then we're going to go over here to edit we're going to go to content aware scale and what we're going to do is we're literally going to drag it from that to the edge and maybe even a little bit past it just to be safe going to hit return or enter and as you can see, that kind of essentially did what we needed it to do. Well, let's go ahead and see if we can do it over to the left, to the right side of the image. Sorry, I don't know what left and right is, apparently. Um, but we want to be careful not to get the hair, as you can see. Um, let's see, zoom in right there. There's a little bit of hair right there that we don't want to get. Um, that might not be too bad, but we're just to be safe, we're going we're gonna to dolly back even more. Da -da -da and that should be good right there we're going to go back up to edit content aware scale and we're going to scale it to the right to the right to the right everything you want to content aware scale to the right to the right um that looks pretty good now this might not work all the time but I have found that for the majority of the images whenever I want to upscale the background and just kind of maybe even have room to for instagram because when you upload to instagram um sometimes the portrait dimensions don't 100 percent work um because when we take pictures on our in our inside of our cameras there is no instagram guidelines on the viewfinder that you can see okay like this will fit perfectly so if you want to just make the background even a little bit bigger using this tool can be very very helpful and i found that it helps me whenever i want to go into instagram upload a picture but i don't want anything cropped out that's pretty much it, guys. Uh, thank you for tuning in, and I'll see you guys on the next one.